Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Omanus and today I will review the fifth studio album by the thrash metal band from Jersey, I believe, um, Overkill. Overkill is a great thrash metal band who I um, who have like nearly 20 albums right now. I think they have like 18, 19 or something. They are a very long-lasting band. I don't think that a lot of the original members are still in the band. You know, the only the only guy that I can name off the top of my head is uh, Bobby Blitz, who you know is of course a fucking hero. Great uh, thrash metal singer, really great. Um, you know, fucking chemistry. You know, he's just a great guy overall. Just watch the Wikipedia fact of fiction with um, you know with that shy bloke. You know him. Love him on that, he is really just great, great personality, love the front man of this band. Um, yeah, you know, there's like one guitarist in there that is still in the band and I think outside of that, I think the band is kind of like a revolving door lineup, only those two guys are like the main guys, so there you go. Uh, Request by Dawn Souls, I've done this um, album last week as well, but you know, my computer broke so I lost the footage, so I have to do it again. I haven't listened to it since then, so uh, my memory is kind of vague on it, but I have heard it um, you know, a couple of times. I, I listened to this album before, so I am familiar with it, but maybe not the most. So if this, uh, if this video isn't the most accurate, then I'm sorry, but you know, there you go. That's uh, what you can get out of me. Uh, we have 11 tracks. We have the first song, which is Koma, which is a very uh, kind of slow build kind of song, but it does uh, get going eventually. Very great atmosphere, really love the atmosphere on there. Great opening song. It does start off a bit slow, but I do think that's appropriate because you know it's a horse cobalt album, it's kind of horror themed, so you have a slow opening of course, and then you know it gets very uh, hectic and very like all over the place eventually, which is not a bad thing because you know it's horror related, so there has to be kind of a clusterfuck something in there if you get my drift. So great opening track, one of my favorites, so there you go. In fact, it goes more back to the early roots of the band, uh, you know, these next couple of tracks. Uh, pretty straightforward track, you know, just talking about being infected and shit like that. Or like, uh, you know, it's very infectious in a way, so the, the disease is spreading very quickly. Uh, yeah, pretty straightforward track, you know, you can uh, like play a video game or something like, you know, Left 4 Dead or something like that, or Dead Island. While you're playing this shit, so. Um, you know, it's a very nice kind of zombie slaying track, I would say, so a great track for that. Uh, Blood Money is kind of the same thing, uh, same, you know, Blood For Money and Thanks For Nothing, who are both 4 minutes and 7 seconds. They're basically the same song, you know, um, 4 minutes and 7 seconds long, they have the same length, they are in the same vein, so they're pretty much the same thing. Although Blood Money is more about, you know, uh, care more about, you know, let's say, money or getting blood on your hands uh, you know you getting money despite you having blood on your hands blood money and thanks for nothing is kind of like more of a betrayal song i would say so it's you know it, it has different themes i get it but it's kind of in the same vein so i do like that but you know it can get a bit samey for me but i still like these tracks a lot because it's just classic overkill so love that and then we have bare bones which is uh you know it lifts up to the title it's a pretty uh meat and potatoes kind of trash metal song um, I do like it of the album, but you know, I do like that they switch it up after this, so you know, it definitely got, I wouldn't say still, but it got a little bit uh, repetitive for me, but I do like that they switch it up in the second half, whereas you know, the first half is kind of like more straightforward, kind of classic overkill, and the second half is more horror themed and more doom metal in a way, so I do like that, but Bare Bones is still like a nice centerpiece song, or you know, the next title track I would say, uh, which is Horoscope. A uh, horoscope is a great track, a uh, really great atmosphere on there, a uh, great bass opening from who's the bass there? Uh, who plays bass? Uh, Didi Verney. Yeah, four and eight string bass, background vocals production. There you go. Uh, Didi Verney has great um, bass playing on there. Really love the tone uh, tone on this track. Really love the breakdown eventually, which kind of which kind of sounds like. Slayer's Raining Blood uh, breakdown, and I believe that Boy Blitz said, you know, that the big four is like a big influence for him, so of course it sounds like Raining Blood, which is arguably the, the most appropriate horror song in a way, you know, the whole Raining Blood record, arguably, so especially the Tiles track, but you know, um, I, I do think that Overkill is in the same 
competition. Some people might want to say it's better, but you know, that's of course debatable. Um, yeah, I really love this track, really great atmosphere, really like horror theme, so the title lifts up to, um, or the song lifts up to the title, so there you go. And then we got New Machine, which I honestly, um, you know, I, I do think that the song kind of sounds like horoscope in a way, but it's not quite there for me, you know, it's not really um, the same, I would say, because in my opinion, uh, New Machine is between the best two tracks, so personally, I didn't really care for the song all too much because it just got kind of overshadowed in a way not a bad track per se but it's definitely overshadowed by the tracks in between so there you go now we got Frankenstein uh, written by Edgar Winter which is an instrumental three and a half minute instrumental this is by a 70s hard rock band I believe kind of in the same vein as let's say a Tin Lizzy or like a T-Rex or something uh, really great hard rock cover I really enjoyed it uh, production is fantastic the instrumentation is really cool yeah, I really love the instrumentals on this track, you know, because it is an instrumental and for what it is, I do really like it. It's the only clickable song of the album, so they got a great, great cover right there, really love it, it's one of my favorites, uh, although, um, yeah, I think that Coma, the first track, is probably my favorite of the album, which, you know, it's entry level, I get it, but it's a, it's a great song, Horoscope is entry level, but it's all really good. Maybe Blood Money or Thanks for Nothing is really good as well, so there you go. Um, then we get Live Young Die Free, which is kind of like, you know, the ending of the album, you know, they're kind of saying, um, you know, you either die young as the hero or live long enough to see yourself become the winner or some shit like that, you know, you know, that meme. Uh, kind of reminds me of that, it just kind of sounds like that for me. Um, now, or maybe it's like a combination of both, I'm not sure what the song is all about, but it sounds very uh, heroic to me, it sounds very like uh, justice e in a way, if that is a word. A uh, really pleasant song to listen to, very satisfying to the end. So I do really like it. And then we got Nice Death for a Funeral. Really heavy track in a way. Really sounds like an outro song for me, which it isn't. Uh, and I do get it, you know, uh, there is like, like also another song which is about uh, or being alone or something. So being alone at the funeral or something, it makes a bit more sense as an outro, but I would uh, switch these two songs um, around, I would say, because you would have more appropriate, uh, you know, closure and a, a second or a second last song because Solitude, oh, you're all alone. And because of that, you know, you might feel depressed and like kill yourself or something. And then like, it's a nice day for a funeral. It makes a bit more sense in my head. It sounds fucked up either way, but you know, that's just how I think about it conceptually. So I do really like these two tracks, they're very doomy, they're, they kind of sound like, they kind of sound like Candlemas type of negative kind of songs. And I believe that type of negative came after Overkill, so there you go. You know, I believe that Candlemas and Overkill were a band at like the same time, in like early 80s, mid 80s, so there you go. Like 83, 84. Um, but these two tracks are really great, they do kind of sound um, Candlemas inspired, because Solitude is literally a... Um, a Candlemas title is like one of our most famous songs, but in you know they don't have solitude with soul, but just with S O L. So you know that's that's a different there. Maybe it's like an O to Candlemas, but I'm not sure. But it's not pretty kick ass either way. Um, if I do have a preference here, I would say that Nicer for Funeral is a bit better. I do think it's just a slightly better song where solitude is kind of gimmicky for me, but still really great. I still really like the song. So my favorites of the album are. Nice Day for a Funeral, which might be my favorite because it's very Doom inspired. Coma is really good, Horoscope is a classic, and Frankenstein the cover, I all really love. And I think Blood Money is also a nice one because it's just not like a nice kick ass uh, kind of zombie slaying song for me. Uh, with, you know, Blood Money, that's a pretty cool title, where Thanks for Nothing is kind of, mm, you know, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of like dropping letters in titles, you know, as most rap artists do, so I'm not a huge fan of that. <coughs> That is nitpicky, I get it, hate me for that, but that's just how I see it, so there you go. That's my uh, rating, or that's my um, review for this album, I really like it. Um, really my only complaint with it is, complaint with it is that the first side kind of sounds samey for me, New Machine is kind of a letdown for me, and I think that the last two tracks could have uh, been swapped around for a more, more appropriate ending, you know, Coma at the beginning and Funeral at the ending, would have been perfect. Or call, yeah, I believe I said beginning, so there you go. 
Comment at the beginning, uh, if you don't know the ending, that would be more appropriate. I'm gonna give this album a nine and a half. Like or subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.